our students. This is teacher sharing. You can see everywhere is so dark. Am I right? Because I'm going to give you a surprise. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Ta -da! Welcome to our new live show studio. It's my pleasure to unbox our new live show studio for you. Do you like it? Look around. Mm, look at here. This is my favorite part. The whole wall is a huge black board. I have always dreamed about it since I was a child. Now my dream is coming true. I can draw whatever I want here. That's great, my right? Okay, now let's go to today our new vocabulary activity. Today our new vocabulary activity is punctuation marks. Punctuation marks. They look so cute. Good, good, good. Am I right? They are very important when you make sentences. You know, even you make a perfect sentence, but without a period. I'm sorry, you will only get 90 points from me. That sucks. So be ready to read with me and you will fall in love with them. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one. Come on. Come on. C O M M A. Come on. Number two. Full stop. Full stop. F U L L space S T O P. Full stop. Or you can say period, period, P-E-R-I-O-D. Next, number three, semicolon, semicolon, S-E-M-I-C-O-L-O-N, semicolon. Number four, colon, colon, C. O L O N colon number five apostrophe apostrophe A P O S T R O P H E apostrophe number six underline underline U N D E R L I N E underline when something is really important you will put underline okay next one number seven hyphen hyphen H Y P H E N remember that hyphen is in the middle underline is on the bottom okay now go next number eight question mark Question mark. Q U E S T I O N space M A R K. Question mark. Next one. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. E X C L A M A T I O N space. M A R K exclamation mark slow motion. Let's read slowly. Next one, number ten. Everybody, hands up. Show me your finger like that. Okay, let's do together. Quotation marks. Quotation marks. Q U O T A T I O N space M A R K S. Remember, they are sets. So you will put S, quotation marks. Number 11, slash, slash, S-L-A-S-H, slash. 
The last one, not the least one, is parenthesis. Parenthesis. You can put your hands like that. Parenthesis. P A R E N T H E S E S. Parenthesis. Thank you to read with me. Before doing your video homework, please watch teacher's video and repeat more times. We will check your pronunciation. Then you can send your video homework to our WhatsApp before end of March. Okay? Now, after our new vocabulary activity, I have to remind you our March monthly song Fireflies by Our City. You can link to your Young Leaders personal YouTube channel to listen it. Or if you like, you can write down all the lyrics on your notebook and of course you will earn 15 crowns. Okay, thank you. Now it's the time to watch our 10 languages and 10 cultures video. Let's go! Yes. No. Please. Si. No. Por favor. Si. Now. Por favor. Si, no, per favore. Da, niet, pajalusta. No, si. Oh, yo, saluta. Ja, nein, pizza. Welcome to our city. Project. Mm, it's sad that we can't travel now, but we will bring the city to you. Today we are going to Ankara on Kabir, and you will listen Mustafa Kemal Atatürk's story in English by Teacher Anna. Let's go. Hello young leaders, I am teacher Anil and I will tell you the story of Anut Kabir in this video. But first, let's remember the man for whom a huge mausoleum was built. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk was born in 1881 and he died in 1938. Even though 57 years don't sound like a long time, it was enough for him to do so many important things for his nation. There was a war which was threatening the future of the Turkish people and their freedom. It was almost impossible to get rid of all those threats, but he was there and he believed in the idea that if Turkish people believed in themselves and if they could be united, they could do anything. Thanks to him, the war was ended and Turkish people gained their freedom again. Therefore, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk has always been considered as a great leader but it is not the only reason that he has always been loved by his public. Beside his great leadership, there is also the fact that he was the one who gave people hope about their future by being the founder of the Turkish Republic. Thus, people, to show their respect, built a huge mausoleum for him after he died. And this was the story of Anut Kabir. I hope you like it as I did. So, see you next time. Goodbye. Mm. 
Welcome back and thanks to Teacher Anna. It's an inspiring and great story, isn't it? Actually, you know the story very well in Turkish. But how much you can understand in English? You can go our YouTube channel to watch more times and you can challenge yourself. Okay? Welcome to Chetty Sherry time! Ooh, it's really cold this winter, isn't it? As a young and cool person like you and me, we don't just say cold. Is there any other way to describe the weather is cold? Instead of cold, you can say it this way. Oh my god, it's freezing outside today. Mm, it's freezing. We usually freeze the food in the refrigerator. So, it's freezing means it's cold. Except that there is another word, chili, also means cold. You can say this way. I can't feel my nose. It's chili. Do you have a nose? <laughs> As you see, it's chili also means it's cold. You can also describe your feeling like I can't feel my fingers or I can't feel my nose to show the weather is really cold. Now, let's repeat what we learned about cold today. It's freezing or chilly today. I can't feel my nose. Thank you to watch Ch Chetty Sherry time. <laughs> okay? Our next topic is play phonics. English phonics are different than Turkish. Each letter is not only one sound. There are short vowels, long vowels, and blends. But don't worry, Teacher Duygu will bring us to play phonics. Let's go! Hello everybody! Today we will see in our magazine phonics part. As you know, in English we have 26 letters. Yes, 26 letters. Let's see first 13 letters and their sounds. A, A, alligator. B, B, brush. C, C, come. D, D, drum. E, E, egg. F, F, flute. G, G, green. H, happy. I, E, iguana. J, J, jacket. K, K, key. L, L, lemon. M, M, money. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. A, F, alligator. B, B, brush. Wow. Thank you, teacher. Do you? I'm your big fan. Ah. If you are shy to speak English like me. You can follow teacher Duygu to repeat sounds more times. One day, you may be better than us. Okay, guess which topic is now? Hmm, I hear your answer. Yes, our favorite riddle time. Today we have brand new riddle time style. Now listen carefully. When I ask a question, you will see there are some answers on the screen. You can click the correct answer from the screen directly. But 
you only have five seconds to choose the answer. So don't be late. Are you ready? Let's go to the first riddle. Okay. Which is faster? Hot, cold, warm, or cool? A. Hot. B. Cold. C. Warm. D. Cool. Please, you will start to click your answer. Five, four, three, two, one. Finish. Let's go to the second question. <clears throat> Who is bigger? Mr. Bigger, Mrs. Bigger, their baby, or Miss Big? Okay, A, Mr. Bigger, B, Mrs. Bigger, C, the baby. D. Miss Big. Please, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Clip your answer. Okay, finish. Let's go number three. Now, listen carefully, y'all. Turn me on my side and I'm everything. Cut me in half and I'm nothing. What number am I? One more time. Turn me on my side and I'm everything. Cut me in half and I'm nothing. Which number am I? A, number six. B, number eight. C, number nine. D, number one. Okay, five seconds you will choose. Click your answer. Five, four, three, two, one. Click, click. Okay, finish. Let's go. Number four question. What goes up and down but doesn't move? One more time. What goes up and down but doesn't move? Let's see our answer. A. Water. B. The road. C. Clouds. D. The wind. Five seconds, please click your answer. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Okay, let's go number five riddle. Are you ready? What should you do when you see a green man? What should you do when you see a green man? Let's see the answer. A, hands up. B, stand up. C. Across the road. D. Run. Okay, five seconds. Click your answer. Five, four, three, two, one. Finish. Okay. If you don't understand why you were wrong, you can ask your teacher after turning back to Zoom. Oh, our time is up. Oops, I didn't prepare my dinner yet. Oh, that's too bad. And I think your teacher also is waiting you in the Zoom. So, see you next time. Bye-bye, my super smart students. See you. Bye-bye.